Hello and welcome to this new lesson in which we are going to make a simple PCB holder using this camera as you can see these camera holders now the first step that or the things that we need for this is a crocodile plug and it's a very famous plug and we need two camera holders as you can see make sure that you choose this one the same type as the one that we have here because this type offers a great flexibility when moving now you need to drill a hole on each of these as you can see here sockets and one hole is enough make sure that the hole goes from one side to the other for the screwdrivers and as you can see each of these has a base and we need the space now you also need a base for your whole project so we will use this base you can use it any piece of wood that you have we need a screwdriver and some screws now let's get started as you can see we have this let's move the base away and we have the crocodile clip now the crocodile clip usually comes with two holes so we need to place the crocodile clip this way we don't want to place it this way because we need to open this crocodile and close so that it can hold our pcb like this and in order for this crocodile clip to hold our pcb we need to place it like this on these circular uh, ends now we need a screw for this so here we have a bunch of screws we just need to select the right one or to grab the right one make sure that you are choosing small screws that can be used with this project okay let's go with this one let's see if it will go inside there okay great now grab the hole and start screwing okay as you can see now it did stick in place we need two more one right here Okay, very good. Now we have these three clips. The next step is placing this and sticking the battery holder or the board holder to this, uh, let's say, base, wood base. 
and to do so what we need to do is to insert a clip and we need to make a hole inside each one of these three this one uh, each one of these two okay sorry this one and this one and to make this hole first we need to set the location here so we need to place it right here and we will place the other one right here so now the first step to make the hole is to use a drill or you can avoid using the drill and use any other technique that you might think will work for you now for me i will use a drill and to do so here i have a drill so let's hold this down sorry let's hold this down and if you want you can drill the hole all the way through the wood now let's drill the second hole right here just hold that's it now we have everything up and ready what you need to do is to pick one of these and place it here Now I'm trying to place this screw inside this hole. So let's proceed. That's it. Now, as you can see, it did stick in place and you can easily move these. Now, let's do the same to the second one. Let's place this wire. Okay, this screw inside this area. that's it now we have it screwed these are the two bases now we have this now what you can do with this is I, I don't think there is a limit to what you can do with this so let's test it out here we have an Arduino board and let's say that I want to uh, Let's say solder something on this board. Now what I can do is I can stick it here and hold it with these clips. And they can easily rotate as you can see. So now I can do whatever I want with this board without having any problems.
and I can place other components here as well. But you need to adjust these, as you can see, to make sure that they are a perfect fit and they can hold your board. Now you can use your, let's say, soldering gun and solder anything here or here without any issues. So one problem solved. I know that that this did take a lot of time, but the output is amazing.